Welcome to the chase. Here we are in the vault setting. And clearly, this is not the vehicle that I am required to use. We got the mo We've already seen this. We watched it on the previous video. I already made a video talking about the motor pass. So if you want to see that, you can already see it. But I am going to continue with the premium version. The standard premium version. Because that's the version that I hope most people will be going for if they're going to actually get this. But of course, we get some rewards. Let's collect, collect, collect. And here's my beautiful Eclipse. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be doing the playthrough of this super soon. Don't you worry, it's going to happen. Of course, we've already done the first two ones, but we will jump to that. Right now, I want to see what cars we have available. I already know what's available, but <laughs> holy. <laughs> this police car heaven going on over here. Now, first thing, you already know what we have to do. We have to go and buy bundles we got a chase bundle we got the vault bundle that's expensive 1.4 million and of course there's gonna be more bundles over time as well we've got a vanity pack here which looks okay we're gonna jump into this so we have got oh yes this is gonna be exciting we're gonna jump more into that a little bit later but the actual pack maybe is going to be this interesting there's no bundle for one of the cars we want to build we can now buy this is the thunder wave edition but this is the focus of today. I am very excited to be jumping in. Hang on. Wait a second. Is this top? I just realized that's tiny. Oh, look at it in the blue. That is glorious. Oh, that is so glorious. I'm buying it in the blue. That is fantastic. We're going to go for some aftermarket wheels. I say aftermarket wheels. Non-standard factory wheels, maybe. Maybe. Uh, we'll go with those on black. I think that looks nice. We're going to pay cash for it because that's how we do. And we bought it. Oh, it looks so good. All right, let's drive it stock. Let's upgrade it. Let's customize. Let's do the business. Now, I knew straight away this sounded meaty when I first heard it. But let's have a, let's have a cheeky listen. Oh, it's so meaty. Let's get it. This is a car I'm super excited for. Is this the first time it's been in a game? I actually think so. At least a game that you can customize, which is always a welcome thing. I'm ready to customize and begin playing with this car. Look at the slight wheel adjustments that he's making. The dashboard is super cool. This is easily one of the best cars that's come out recently. For me, I, if I had the option of getting one, I probably would have. Because it's honestly a beautiful, beautiful car. And of course, it has a proper engine in it. It looks so good against the blue wall there. I like that. Blue on blue. The floor looks a little bit blue too. Anyway, as I said, we have got these colors to go through. The yellow looks fantastic. I think this is a car that, once again, will look fantastic in basically any color you throw at it. There are many, many colors available. Now, let's jump into the customization. I actually missed this on the early version of the game. I was hoping to play with this a little bit earlier. But I'm not going to complain because we now get to play together isn't that amazing now i think the best option right here is going to be number three personally i think it's just a little little spice but not too much spice if you know what i'm saying we've got a yellow film over the headlights just in case why not i think i'm gonna stick without it because that looks very cool it's very subtle compared we've got actually a wide body kit on it already every time i know how to make me happy russell mcjimmy's in a good way. American wing mirrors. Don't mind if I do. Side skirts. Big old bit on the carbon there. Rear fenders to make it even wider. And hopefully we have a huge wing as an option. That'll do. That'll do. It's a, li it's a little bit taller than a Forza wing. <laughs> I think beautiful. We go with this option. Or the standard with a little bit of carbon. That's very nice and subtle. But you know me. Big Wang Machise. That's what the ladies call me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's keep flying through. So as a standard, the lights are already kind of like blacked out. We can actually unblack them out, which is very interesting. Like, I never thought that was going to be, but in a world in where some people have to request new windows to remove tints from the windows, I think that is a very welcome thing indeed. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with the carbon with the pinstripe and actually make my lights red. I think that looks really, really cool. I'm a red interior type of guy. In any situation, we're going to get an option for red interior. I'm going to do that. Let's go for the interior type. Yes, please. And can we have some carbon fiber? Yes, we can. That's it. That's my customizations done so far, at least on the visual parts. I want to go over to vanity, of course. We've got blue car. 
blue tires. Probably the way I'm going to go unless we have anything a little... No, we've got some new stuff to check out as well. Of course, we didn't even check what's new and what's available. That's something we need to do. We're going to go for the blue... Pris is it prismatic? It is prismatic. And of course, the blue underglow. Black out the windows because why not? Oh, and we're going to put a little police light on the top just because it's like a nice subtle nod to the update whereas i like i i'm probably gonna drive this more than the normal one but to have the option to become an like an instant cop car just like that i think that's sick i just realized that the motor pass has taken over this that's pretty uh, that's pretty funny i didn't even realize that was a thing we can't actually use it anymore that's really sad that's really sad we can't actually do anything with this guy anymore not sure how i feel about that to be honest the contract is something that i'm gonna miss because that's a nice way to make some moolah now we in here have, of course, this vanity bundle. I'm not even sure if this is new. I don't like it, but we're going to go over to the vanity just to see what else is new. Oh, yeah. Retro cop car lights. I'm going to do it. Those are being put on my car without me choice. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> we've got some slightly less red tires. I think those are quite nice. Do I want to buy them? Yeah, of course I do. Any vanity items that I can possibly get that I don't quite have yet, I'm probably going to buy. And we have the Dark Punch Nitro. Sure, we need a red Nitro with a few extra colors in there. Okay, now let's have a play with this car. Oh, that is weird. We've got the standard police light. They look like safety car lights more than police lights. But that's coming off. I want this to, to be a race car first. And maybe uh, about when I pop out, I just put the lights on the top and I chase down some baboons. What? This is not a road. I did a couple of changes. I put the tires back to blue. I vetoed the American wing mirrors. I just think it looks a lot cleaner now that it looks like this. Okay, so we've got some races around here. I assume I very much want to try this in a race because I'm interested to see what it's going to be like. Of course, we haven't even done the performance yet. I'm such a mong. 950 horsepower, 226, and a not to 60 of 2.4. That's going to make it a nice little machine. Let's see. Now, we've already driven the police car variant of this. So I'm interested to see, is it going to hold the same characteristics as the police car version? Is it going to... It's going to understeer more. Interesting. The police interceptor model seems to have a little bit more control. This still has the characteristic. It's just a very generic handling car. It feels very good, but not bad. In any, like, it, it's bad and good. It, do you know what? It's just a weird... It's a weird position to be in. Oh, the red on the inside. That's such a good idea. Highly recommended. Put red on the outside of the seats, and you're going to love that interior. It's going to look beautiful and spicy. All we need now is the ability to add in custom license plates or have other license plates to unlock. And then that's going to make a, it would make a world of difference. Even just removing the bloody... I thought that was a road. It's a roundabout in America. Who would have thought? Oh, it looks good in the wet. Oh, nice next to us as well. We have the class... I say classic. It's not even classic. But we have the last Don't generation of it. On the streets. Oh, it's Tio. Tio versus Tio. Let's get it. Mate, my car drives better than that GTR does. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I said it. I've done it. I'm, I'm gonna, I've got to beat him now. If I don't beat him, I'm gonna look like a bit of a boo. I think the bright blue is probably my go-to. It, it, it just, it's, it's really nice. The bright colors on cars. It, it's, it's just how you should go. If you have the option for choosing a color and you don't choose a color, and you choose gray or black or white over anything else. You're boring. You need to loosen up a little bit. Stop being so, I'm a big man. Ah, you get me, yeah? That's that's how I picture him, the choice of black, black on black. <laughs> Sounding like, okay. Now, I'm really happy that this update is finally out. Of course, I'm going to be playing through it. And of course, I'm going to try and be grinding like every day, pretty much with the daily challenges. There will be some that I'm just like, nah, it's not even worth it. But... How do we know unless we try? We're going to try that. So I might start doing that over on Twitch. I think that's a good place to, to have grind streams. Of course, you guys can keep me company while I grind through these challenges with this very, very planted machine. Holy poo poo. Maybe it is planted. Maybe it's because I'm using a different controller now. I was using the DualShock 4 on the PC version of the game, but now I'm playing 
with a DualShock 5. Yeah, that's right, PS5, baby. Because there's no version out for the PS5. I'm playing the PS4 version. <laughs> it feels good. I wish I was on a harder difficulty on this event. But real, in reality, we're just test driving it while getting some money. What, what could possibly be better? Test driving and money? Win-win. Win-win. Of course, there's also the BMW M8 that I'm very much looking forward to showing you guys as well. I'm praying and hoping that the customization's pretty broad on that car. Of course, this is, when it comes to brand new cars, I, I would hope that they could push the mold a little bit, but usually manufacturers probably don't like that because they've just released a brand new car. How dare you try and spice up our already beautiful machine? How dare? Disgraceful. I were never working with you again. So you have to like, oh, we'll just add some carbon fiber. You know, that's all we're going to do. Spice it up just a little bit. So I would like to see the future of this being crazy. I say that we've got a wide body. I ain't going to complain. I'm already doing some of the daily challenges. Don't mind if I do. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking up this? Are you jumping on the crew just because it's just added this car? Of course, it's the first game with proper customization for this car. Super happy about that. I think the only time that it's ever been in the game is... Project Cars. And Project Cars is pretty new as well. Be sure to smash the like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again later for the BMW M8. You already know. Until next time, peace.